Once again, I'm satisfied to see this episode of episode 11 of Riddick Girlfriend with Sumi Chan in this episode, which is just absolutely just beautiful. It really was. It, it really was. Now, I, I, I am going to be talking about, I am going to be talking about Sumi Chan. Sumi Chan looks like she's a lot more relaxed than what she used to be back in season, back in season one. And, you know, she didn't really respond really all that all that much she really did she really did not she really did not and you know i can just tell i can just tell that she has the confidence you know to be with kiza and stuff you know even though even i do agree with some of the people that the comments were saying like you know what place were saying like you know i mean you know sumi chan sumi chan should be with kiza i really do believe that too i i really do it's, it's just that i just think that sumi chan she's probably she's probably ready for a relationship that's probably she really actually yeah, is, but even though, even though, I mean, she's in love with the dude. She doesn't matter to do. It's like doing this or doing that. Even though she's look, she looks at Keys and I just ask like a, a really good gentleman or something like that. And that, that's something, that's something that puts a smile on my face and stuff like that. You know, and you know, I remember during a time, you know, I, I told you guys many, many times before, because if you guys don't know about my grandpa, I know I'm, I may be seeing it off topic, but I remember my grandma used to say like, you know, my my grandpa, my grandpa was a true gentleman. To me, he really was. He knows how to treat a lady with respect. You know, I learned from him, learned from my grandpa, you know, and, and stuff, you know, because, you know, the reason why I'm saying this is because to me, it, to me, for what I see right here from Kizuna is that it reminds me of my grandpa because like how much, how much he really has, how much he, he really shows respect and stuff like that, and especially with Kizuna. And, you know, that's basically, it's basically what me. And, you know, it's just, Kisan's character. I mean, I know I, I want people just to understand this that my grandpa was my grandpa did not watch the anime. He did not. He did. I mean, I know he's a lot more different than based on what I'm saying here, basically, you know, between between real life and anime and stuff like that. But originally, the reason why I'm saying it is because this is just based on what I see. It's it's really such a blessing. It really actually is. It's just learning so so much based on what Kisan really does. Like does especially for my grandpa, you know, and. It really, really does, and I, I, I hear nothing but good things about my grandpa when my grandpa tells me about these things. Even though I still miss him and stuff like that, I don't want people to think. I don't want people to think that this is a grandpa episode or anything like that, <coughs> or anything like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's just based what it just it just seems. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just basically. <coughs> Give me one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I just need something. I just need to drink real quick. But it was uh, <clears throat> the base. The one thing. The one thing. It it just it just really just tells me is this, that just the the kind of character <clears throat> that he's up really actually is really actually is. I mean, the the man has a good heart. He really does, and it's just the the, the neutral respect that what he has for basically is just based on his animal. Will. Anime. It's just, it's just. I mean, I don't know how to explain. It just makes me feel like, just makes me feel like, you know, Kisa. Thank you for doing this. For, for doing this. Thank you for showing your love and support for every one of these characters, based in in this anime. It's just, it's just really, it's just really, it's just such a blessing to see that, and it really is, and really is, and that's the that's the reason why I'm saying this because that's what I see as from from my grandpa. Because it really is such a blessing. It really actually is, really actually is. But I mean, even though, even though I know, I know, like you know, real life and you know, and you know, anime, so with that, don't mix up really all that well. Which I, which I definitely do understand. Now I want to talk about, uh, yeah, I want to talk about more Sumi Jin. Uh, Sumi Jin, it just feels to me, it just feels to me, is that like I said before, she's a lot more confident than she used to be back in season one, and she really actually is, and you know, and I really like her for that. It's basically just, you know, basically to me. You know, back back in season one, I didn't know like why Sumi Chan would just be so shy and stuff like that. Why she doesn't talk or anything like that, or or anything like that. But she does. But she, you could just tell like she does have really good feelings for Kisa, and and that's what it basically it feels. That's what basically it, it feels. It feels to me, and you could just tell like you know. I remember what uh, Chizra like Chizra or or Misa, whatever you want to call her, Misa. Uh, basically, she just told she just told uh, Kisa that don't mess this up, don't mess this up. This is your one chance. Don't blow it. And I think the reason why she's just saying that because, 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 uh, 
Super Champ does not have a whole lot going for her based on her real life. Okay, and the reason why, the reason why I'm saying the reason why I'm saying this is because is because I, I I just don't think to to me from what I from what I think from what I see based on this anime is that she doesn't really have the free time the free time you know like go on dates or anything like that even though she's busy with school or college whatever maybe is or something like that but she's always but she's always tuned but she's always actually preparing for something for something you know basically what you know, going to school or whatever maybe it is that she really wants to do and even though i like that you know and i really do and i really, really do i just don't think that sumi chan is basically the kind of character that she would just you know jump into a relationship just like that you know just like that because i like the fact she's just taking her time that's all she's just doing she's feeling that she's feeling um feeling different things feeling you know like you know different things you know basically what what can what can make Kisa very happy and i think just she just she's just doing that but she's not rushing in the space like saying yeah i'm gonna rush in to see like what Kisa is really actually yeah, just gonna do but the one thing i the one thing is, is just to me from what like i said for for what i'd love from her is just basically it's just basically that that she's she's not doing this for herself but she's doing it but she's doing this because She's doing this because, she, like I said before, she really is in love with Kisa, and she really actually is, and she and she really has just. There's no denying it and stuff like that. That's basically see it to me. I mean, I I don't know who is going to end up with Kisa. I, I don't know. I don't want to talk about the rest of the other characters because I don't want to make a separate video on that because there's just uh, some characters that I do want to talk about basically and because I, I I want to be devoted to talking about discussions about some other different characters. Base basically, so I'm going to do a video discussion. With Kisna, and then I can go on from there on, like what some of the others I do want to talk about as well too. But, but uh, yeah. Now, far as I'm concerned with episode twelve, I don't mean to spoil or anything like that. I don't know what was what's going to happen in the episode, but it seems to me it seems to me that Kisa must have found out that it seems to me that Kisa must have found out that Chisra Chisra is calling out with she's going out with somebody. And you know, and that that really that really is, is gonna kind of get me very very upset, because because this could be a good episode or this could be a bad episode, because I'm really tossed up in the air because I really do not know what, what's really going to happen. Because I'm generally do thinking is is that like from from what we saw in the flashback from what we saw in the flashback. Is is she not really that committed to be to go out to go out with Kisa, or or whatever it maybe is and stuff like that, and just by doing all these different things and she's taking pictures and stuff like that, it just it just feels to me it just feels to me is that she doesn't really want she she doesn't really want Kisa, I I, I don't know why maybe she must have think that Kisa is just maybe it's just he's so immature because the way he acts and stuff like that and stuff you know because. That would really make me very upset because I'd be saying, I'd be saying like this: with all that during that time, like going to date and, and, and your other dates and stuff like that, when a girlfriend dates and stuff like that, you will you willing to throw all that away just by going out with another guy because you think because because she thinks that she she thinks that that this guy that this guy what we saw in the previews that that she must have think that this guy is much more mature than Kisa. And that's gonna make me very, very, very upset. And I, I I wanna see I wanna see the episode. I, I really do believe there's gonna be a cliffhanger at the uh, at the end of the episode. I really do think so the uh, the last episode. I, I really do think so. I, I need to I need to, I need to find some things out because because I, I, I want to know. I want to know. I I'm serious. I really do want to know like what is key what is Chisa is really gonna do. What, what what she really asked is going to do. I don't I don't know I just I just really want to know because I, I'm kind of curious about who is this guy basically actually is or or maybe she didn't tell Keys enough because because that she's going out with a different guy and stuff like that and I'm assuming that's going to make Keys jealous I'm assuming that really is that that really is but we just we just don't know if that was going to be the case yet or not so I, I'm kind of conflicted and I'm probably going to get very upset with this uh, with the last the last episode. It just depends. It just depends from the way I want to the way I want to see it. But I'm hoping it turns out good. But I just I'm just wondering. That's just I'm just I'm worried. I'm worried about this episode. What I really am. But yeah. 
anyway so that's it for um for this and review tell me what you guys think i'm kind of curious what would you guys have to say but uh yeah anyways i'm just it was uh, I'm Alex. It was I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hope you get some more today. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification bell also too, since some of you guys watch my videos. And please leave your comments below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you get some more today. Take care. God bless. Uh, take care. God bless. And remember, and remember, leave your comments below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you get some more today. Take care. Uh, love you guys. Take care.